Hey curling fans, looks like we finally have an end to the saga of Team Kui looking for a fourth. Uh, the team is picking up Aaron Sluchinski, an experienced skip out of Alberta. If you missed the first part of the story, I have uh, videos explaining it, but basically Team Kui parted away with, with their second uh, Jacques Gauthier, um, saying it was for performance issues. Uh, a little surprising for that to happen after their first event of the new season. The team did struggle really all around at the uh, at the Briar last year, um, but didn't make a change then, decided to make a change early this season. The big question mark then was, who could Cooey pick up in the fourth spot, given that most teams were committed to their lineups? Well, the answer seems to be Aaron Sluchinski, uh, who, of course, has been a fixture on tour for uh, well over a decade now, uh, often skipping his own team, a team out of Alberta, to a 4-4 four and four record at the Briar last year. Also served as the alternate for uh, Brendan Botcher's team at the Briar in 2022. So definitely a player capable of being on a very strong team. Uh, Kui also probably really realized they need a fourth uh, for a lot of reasons, but they haven't had much success playing with three. Uh, they won a game and then not, got knocked out in the Elite Eight of the Points Bet Invitational uh, a couple weeks ago and then went two and three at the uh, Hearing Life Tour Challenge, the first Grand Slam of the year this past weekend. It meant they didn't make it out of the triple knockout phase and make the playoffs there. So let's take a look at a story here from Sportsnet um, covering what's going on, uh, what, what, what everyone says about what's going on here with this uh, new team change. Aaron Sluchinski parts ways with team to join Kevin Cooey. Um, Kevin Cooey recruited established skip Aaron Sluchinski to join his shorthanded curling team. Cooey, a four-time Canadian, two-time world champion, has played with a three-man lineup throughout two events since he fired second Jacques Godier in September. Sluchinski, uh, Sluchinski from Erdre, is that it? Uh, uh, Alberta, skipped a team that defeated Cui in the Alberta Regional Men's Final last season and also beat Cui to open the Montana's Briar in Regina last year. As I said, his team ended up going 4-4. Four and four. Cui, you may remember, had a really rough event at the Briar last year. They went 2-6. and six. Um, So, uh, yeah, Sluchinski... Uh, <laughs> Arguably had a better season last year if you really are looking at just the championship event. Uh, and here's a tweet, you know, that pops up here from Team Cooey uh, announcing that they are extremely excited to have Aaron Luchinski on Team Cooey. As we scroll down. Cooey denied his prime reason for recruiting Sluchinski was to avoid him in big games. I've seen that suggested already, too. Uh, seems like a seems like a big uh, a big ask uh, to assume that that would be the main reason. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't realize that helps. But if they're losing to Slichinski and teams at that level, they're not probably competing for the Canadian Championship anyway. So I don't think that's their primary motivation. Probably doesn't help. That probably doesn't hurt though. The reason we asked Aaron is because he's a really good curler, Cooey said Tuesday. Him being in Alberta, it's really good for practicing, which I think is a bit of an underrated thing and will be really, really good for us. As far as not having to play him, that's a bonus. I like that too. I'm sure you do. Tyler Tardy is Cooey's vice. Carrick Martin plays lead. Cooey from Calgary says Sluchinski will throw second stones and hold the broom when he throws skip scones. So basically Sluchinski will be playing the position of vice while throwing second stones. Not that complicated a thing, but if you're new to curling or fell out really casually, you might not be used to that. Skips don't have to throw fourth. Vices don't have to throw third. Those are two house positions that just happen to generally go along with that throwing order. I've always admired Kevin, and he's definitely one of the greatest throwers of all time, Sluchinski said. Anytime you can align yourself with someone like that, uh, there's going to be a, that's going to be a good opportunity. Suchinski, 37, isn't a stranger to sweeping because he and his wife Amanda represented Alberta at the National Mixed Doubles Championship earlier this year. The 49-year-old Cooey says he'll continue with a three-man lineup in the October 17th to 20th Sioux Curlers Fall Classic in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, because Suchinski is unavailable, but the latter will join them 
for the October 24 to 26 New Floors Pentagon Classic. I do think practice is a big deal, and especially for our team, where we don't know Aaron great, so it'll be, have to be a quick learning curve, who he said. Uh, Kui ranked fifth among Canadian men's teams at the end of last season, went two and six, missing the playoffs to Briar. Uh, he, after going two and three at the uh, at a, at a September event, uh, the ABT Octox Classic, Akui dumped Godier. His three man team was ousted in the second round of the single knockout points, but invitational. We've talked about that. Went two and three at the Hearing Life Tour Challenge. Uh, both of us just haven't had the start of the season we wanted. Too. And after we both lost out in PI, they reached out to me, Luchinsky said. It's been a whirlwind couple of days. So that makes sense if both teams were a little disappointed in the performance so far, or Sluchinski was at least, and Team Cooey clearly was. It makes some sense that they would they would reach out to each other and uh especially being all you know, both teams being from Alberta or the team being from Alberta along with Sluchinski kind of works, right? Slutinsky, uh, Sluchinski, third, Jeremy Hardy, second, Kerr, Drummond, and lead. Dylan Webster went 4-4 four and four in Regina. With Kyle Doring swapping in for Drummond this season, Sluchinski was eliminated in the points bets first round. Went 2-3 and three at the Hearing Life's Tier 2 men's event in Charlottetown. Uh, Cooey is going to need to win the Provincial Championship in February to get to the 2025 Briar in uh, Kelowna, British Columbia. Defending champion Brad Gushu, Brad Jacobs, Mike McEwen, and Matt Dunstone, who ranked fifth to f- first to fourth respectively the Canadian men's ranking at the end of last season, are pre-qualified for the national championship. The Briar champion and the highest ranking teams, based on points accrued via results through the season, will qualify for the 2025 Olympic trials in Halifax. Everything that's in front of us over the next couple of years, with the opportunities for the Briar and trials coming up at the end of the year, it kind of aligns with my goals, Suchinski said. Since I kind of started playing a little more competitively and putting in more effort over the last four or five years, I've always really wanted to have the opportunity to get picked up and play with one of the top guys in the sport. So it's definitely an opportunity that I couldn't refuse. So, yeah, I mean, it, when you take out some of the interpersonal stuff, which is going to rub some people the wrong way, um, but it's becoming more common in curling now as it becomes more competitive, and especially if you look at how things maybe are done more in Canada now that they have more international competition than ever. So your teams have to be stronger to compete against those top teams around the world. This happens, right? That's the sign of the business side, side of it. You know, players get dumped, teams get broken up, and new teams form. Uh, so Jinsky really probably fits the bill for the Kui team really well. Uh, and it was also a step up for him from a team that was, you know... Probably looking for a solid Briar finish would be the top level they could aspire to, something like they did last year. Going to a team that has the names, at least, if not the results as of late, of a team that could potentially compete to win a Briar or go to Olympic trials and potentially compete there. Let me know what you think of this move, what you think of this whole mess that's gone on over uh, the last few weeks. Uh, do you think it's a good move for Kui? Do you think it's a good move for Sluchinski? Um any other comments you have, leave them down below. I'm sure there'll be some lively discussion. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these news updates, be sure to subscribe so you make sure you get them uh, when new updates about what's going on in the curling world come out. Uh, and until next time, good curling, everyone.